Hello, welcome to episode 102 of Blue Rose Podcast. I'm Karen Barner, your host. My goal in life, my mission in life, is to help women figure out what's next in their life and how to achieve it. We do this by shifting your identity and rebuilding the confidence that you had as a child and just kind of lost it over the years. We rebuild the confidence, we give you the courage to move forward as you shift an identity to one that supports the true you so you can find your Blue Rose. Let's talk today about self-love. Um, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, February 14th, and everywhere you go, it's all about love. I love love. You can never have too much love. But I was on a call earlier, and we were talking about self-love. And everybody kind of was just really quiet. The question was, how do you love yourself? And one of the ladies got on there and said, you know, I realize I treat my friends better than I treat myself. And I thought, holy cannoli, that is 100% true. I sat there and thought, oh my gosh, I do. If a friend calls me and they need something, I will drop everything to get to them. What do you need? I'll, I'll do anything. You need money, I'll get it. I'll get you money. You need, you need me to fly out and help you, I'll fly out and help you. But if I need something, I'll put it in the back burner. Oh, well, I'll deal with it later. It's not that important. And it's more important because self-love is the key. And I realized in this conversation that when you see women who are really confident, you know, the kind that walk into the room and they own the room and they own themselves, they love themselves. But we've been raised to say that in such a negative way. Oh, doesn't she love herself? Oh, isn't she full of herself? Doesn't she think her, you know, what doesn't smell? When in reality, she loves herself. And we're so quick to condemn women who love themselves. It's like they're conceited, they're egotistical, but they're not. They're comfortable in their own body. They've developed an identity of who they are and they live that identity. And as you know, you can shift your identity. You know, the identity I had even a year ago of myself is, is completely different today than it was a year ago because I w didn't necessarily love the person I was a year ago. Liked her a lot, didn't love her. The person that I was five, six years back in 2017, didn't like her at all. So I, have to, I had to keep shifting my identity. But as you shift your identity and as you're rebuilding it, make sure that you're building a powerful identity filled with self-confidence because confidence wins every time. You can be in a meeting, and I've, I've been in meetings and I walked out and I thought, well, that didn't go well for me, or that didn't go as well as I'd hoped, but I still feel good about myself because I still have the confidence to feel good. I still have that inner, it's all good, it's fine. If you don't have confidence, it's hard to move forward, and yet confidence is easy to build. Because confidence is just the identity you have of yourself that is spot on. And, it, and you, may be, you may be sitting there going, well, I don't really like who I am right now. Been there, I understand that completely. So what I do is I sit down and say, okay, I love my identity now, right now today. You know, February 14, 2023. But I, wanted, I want more confidence in certain areas and I want to, you know, not be as much as a dreamer and be more of a doer like I used to be. And you know, more of a, more of a let's just run through the wall and see what happens. More of a take chance person that as a CEO of a not-for-profit, I kind of had to put on the back burner because you can't always go charging through walls. But in my own business, I absolutely I can. So that's gonna be my new identity. And I'm gonna work on building that. And as I build it, my confidence will meet up with it. So when you think about self-love, get out a sheet of paper and a pencil and spend 15, 20 minutes by yourself and write, how do you love yourself? And if you're sitting there going, well, I don't really like myself, you've got to like something about yourself. Even when I did this and I didn't like myself, there are some things I did like about myself. I liked my humor. I liked um, my take no prisoner approach back then. I liked that I'm a great friend. I liked that I um, have a great sense of humor. But I wanted, I wanted more than that. I wanted to love me. I wanted to, when I sat on a call this morning, they said, you know, spend t some time, how do you like yourself and all that. I sat there and thought, I love myself. And when I was younger, when I was 18, 19, 20, all the way up until my late 20s, I loved myself. And people would be like, ah, oh, don't you think you're all that? But it didn't matter, I just absolutely loved myself. I enjoyed being with myself. And then as time, and you know, women, you can relate, 
you get married, you have children, you know, you have bosses, things just, you know, it erodes our self-esteem. It erodes our self-image. And so now that you're 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, you start working on rebuilding that image and becoming that person that you either were or even a more improved. I, like I said, I loved myself when I was in the Air Force. I was confident. I was in my zone. I loved myself in college. I loved myself when I worked at the newspaper. And then, you know, when I had a check stolen from me and it financially broke me, I never could get over that, which is shame on me that I let that one seminal moment disrupt my whole life because I didn't have the tools. I didn't know to ask for help. I didn't know to say, hey, somebody, this just happened to me. The bank won't help me. I never thought to call the company. When I was in a catastrophic motorcycle accident and I got stuck with $25,000 worth of bills, I never thought to call the guy and say, hey, your insurance needs to pay this. Nobody ever told me and I was too young and dumb to know it. So it eroded my confidence. And when I look back now and think, why didn't just one person say to me, why don't you call him and you know, hit his insurance? You know, and he, I mean, we were the same age. We're in our um, mid-20s. You know, his dad was a doctor. Just called his dad, if nothing else. Never thought of it. So I just struggled to pay those bills because I was taught that asking for help doesn't always work out well. So I learned not to ask for help. So I had to shift that self and that self image. And that's part of self love. You've got to love yourself to ask people when you're in crisis, hey, can you help me? To ask friends, you know, I called up a good friend of mine and said, um, hey, you know, I'm not really in love with my makeup. Do you think if you could, um, could um, take me shopping just real quick? Because that's what she does. She's a professional shopper. So, hey, I, you know, I'm not looking for clothes right now. I will be, but not right now. Still losing weight. Will you um, take me makeup? And she's like, absolutely. Two hours later, we we're standing at the makeup counter because I asked her for help. And she was like, I was so excited you called to ask. She goes, you never ask. She goes, you ask for everybody else. Hey, can you help so-and-so with their makeup? Or, you know, can you help them, you know, get a new outfit for the conference? But I'm learning to ask for myself because that's self-love, ladies. Take care of yourself first. We all hear it. I hate to say it because we all hear it a thousand times. And you all know what I'm going to say. When you're on an airplane and the oxygen mask falls, they say put it on yourself first. I would not. The old Karen, I would not. I'd go around and make sure everybody else had theirs on. I swear to you, I would. I'd make sure everybody has their mask on, then I'd put mine on. Now I've learned, put mine on first. Take care of me first. Because when I'm happy, those around me are happy. Are happier. You know, my husband loves to do everything he can to make me happy. It's his, it's his mission in life. But when I don't love myself, it's hard for him. Because he's like, I don't know what to get you because I, I don't know where you're at. Now he's now, you know, Valentine's Day, my, it's filled with flowers, all kinds of stuff because he gets me now. Because now I allow love in. Love doesn't scare me. Love doesn't mean danger. Love doesn't mean abuse. Love doesn't mean that when somebody loves you, something bad either happened right before or is going to happen because I'm in control of my life. So when you sit here today on February 14th and you're thinking about love, think about self-love first. How can you love yourself? And it can be baby steps. It could be just getting up in the morning and saying, you know what, I like my shirt. Or, you know what, I like these earrings. And then the next morning, you know what, I kinda like my makeup. Oh, I kinda like my eyebrows. You know what, I kinda, and then before you know you're gonna be kinda like, I kinda love me. That's where you wanna get. That's where you wanna be. You spent too much time not loving yourself. Loving yourself is confidence. Bottom line, people that love themselves have self-confidence. So if you're trying to get confident, you've got to love yourself to get there. Okay? Hey, if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments before. My online course debuted today. Woo! Um, Art of Discovering You. It's a guide to building, self -con building confidence and self-image by learning about reconnecting, rewiring, and reigniting your fire. So check it out on my web page, on my website, karenbarno.com. Um, it's probably, probably posted on all my social network stuff. You guys, it's a self-paced course, jam-packed with information. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have a coach, but I love um, online courses. I love to do things at my, at my speed. So if it's something like, I want to listen to that again, I want to do that again, 
then I can. And if you align an uh, online course with a coach, then it's even better because you're going to be like, hey, coach, I kind of got hung up on this. What do you think? So check it out. Have a great day, you guys. February 14th is a day of love. The February itself is a month of love. But every day moving forward should be a day of self-love. Love you guys. And here's to you finding your blue rose.